That's right. Thanks, Ed. We've, we're talking about Zoo's winter days today, yep. and you've brought in copper. This is Gretchen Pitzer. Thank you so Hi. much. You're a zookeeper at Potawatomi You're Zoo. Uh, okay, so we're talking about two very important things today. Zoo's winter days and the Super Bowl. In a second, Copper is going to tell us who's going to win the Super Bowl. You can tell he's very excited about <laughs> this and chewing on his leash. But first, let's talk about winter days. This is something you do several times throughout the cold months. Yep. We but it's a way to kind of bring people out. Yeah, we do them twice a month. Um, we're open today from 12 until 3, and it's um, 5.50 for adults, and two and under are free. Members are free. And we have special activities going on. There'll be face painting. The kids can do a special Valentine's craft. It's five dollars, and they can make little Valentine's buttons to take home. Our volunteers are doing uh, a bake sale, and they're selling buttons. And kids can also make Valentines for their favorite animals oh. for free, and put them up on the. Uh, learning center windows for those animals up there. You've also got random animals outside of their cages and walking around so that people can actually touch and feel and see. Yeah, we'll have several of our anal education animals out in the learning center. Copper Copper's one of them? He'll be out for a little bit. Um, and we'll have probably our armadillo out for a little bit and some of our new ones, like maybe one of our fennet foxes. And these are animals that go into schools, talk to the kids. They're yep. really family friendly. Yes, they. Um, most of them are hand raised, so they have a, a nicer temperament and so tell me about Copper. He is, he, he looks like a cat. He's just very large, but you don't recommend having one of these as a No, cat. he's an African <laughs> serval, and he was hand-raised. Um, so he was bottle-fed by a person when he was younger. He's only 10 months, Yes, too. he's 10 months. He's got a little bit more growing to go. Wow. But he's, he's a good kid. He is a little destructive. You wouldn't want one in your house. And we've decided that he has a talent, and that is picking the winner of the Super Bowl. Yep. You say he's 100% good to go. He just yes. never failed. <laughs> never failed. That's because he's <laughs> never done it before. <laughs> so we've come up with a strategy. Thank you, ma'am. We've filled, what, each of these with food. They've got meatballs in them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, meatballs. And he's going to pick, of course, one uh, Panthers, one Broncos. Let's see who he thinks is going to win the Super Bowl. All right, buddy. Mm -hmm. Go Broncos, go Broncos. <laughs> he can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, oh, he's checking it out. You can smell he? those meatballs. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, oh. Which one, which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> he's too distracted. Let's see. Uh oh, he's leaning that direction. Mm. You need a little whiff of the air from back Oh, yeah, here, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Which one you want, buddy? You said he's very interested in, in paper bags, too. Yes. He's also interested in all sorts of new things. <laughs> So well, I'm going to go ahead. Fun. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that the Broncos are going to win according so. to Copper. Yay! <laughs> that or me. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Gretchen. We appreciate you coming in. We're going to, of course, give him some of these meatballs because, yeah, I think he's picked the winner. The Broncos. <laughs> yes, all you Broncos fans out there, congratulations. Uh, but we'll, of course, see who's really going to win coming up tomorrow yeah. on CBS. Thank you so much, Gretchen. We appreciate it. We'll be right.